Hey guys, let's take a look at this bizarre ghost town called Centralia in Pennsylvania. In this video, I'll show you smoke coming out of the ground, aerial view of an abandoned highway, and weird sinkholes large enough to swallow human beings. But more importantly, how this abandoned borough seems to be connected to some unusual alien and UFO activity. People from nearby cities refer to Centralia as the real Silent Hill because the horror movie Silent Hill was inspired by this town. Centralia was once a bustling town, but guess how many people live here today? 10 people, yes, just 10 people, but 50 years ago, more than 2,700 residents lived happily in Centralia, which had seven churches, five hotels, movie theaters, a bank, and several schools. So, what happened which could cause people to leave the city? In 1962, firefighters were hired to clean up the town landfill right next to this Odd Fellows Cemetery. The firefighters set the dump on fire as usual, but failed to extinguish it on time. This fire slowly spread underground through a hole in the rock pit and ignited the abandoned coal mines beneath Centralia. This is the reason why you are seeing smoke or steam coming out of the ground because the coal mines are still burning underneath. If you put your hand here, you can clearly feel the heat and guess how long is this fire going to burn. Experts say that it is going to burn for the next 500 to 1000 years. The temperature increases to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, just a few inches below the ground. And you can see that when I take my camera real close, the steam coming out of the ground is going to make my lens foggy. Now, people complained about their health because of poisonous gases and pollution, but lived here until 1981 when a dramatic incident happened. A 12-year-old Todd Domboski was playing in his grandma's backyard when the ground caved in under him and he fell into a sinkhole that was 12 feet deep. The worst part was that it was 350 degrees inside and all he could breathe was carbon monoxide. Luckily, his cousin Eric Wolfgang saw his orange hat bobbing inside this hole and pulled out the half-dead boy. This incident got national attention and the government started to move people out of Centralia. Most people, except a few families, have moved out and the zip code of Centralia, which was 17927, was cancelled by the Postal Service in 2002. Here, you can see a signage near the hilltop condemning politicians for trying to evacuate the remaining 10 residents. It reads, these residents want absolutely nothing from our government. They want to live where they choose. Please call the governor and senator and demand they be allowed to remain in Centralia. Now here is the aerial view of a deserted highway. What happened here? How can this road that stretches for a few miles be completely abandoned and is now filled with graffiti and huge cracks? This used to be the original Route 61 where thousands of cars drove through every day. Huge sinkholes started appearing randomly and officials kept repairing them as quickly as possible. However, once a piece of road completely caved in, almost burying an entire car that was passing by, 
and authorities decided to close this road down for good. A massive fire is still burning underneath this abandoned highway. People have reported weird sounds and strange blinking lights near this roadway during nighttime. Today, teenagers refer to this place as the Graffiti Highway or the Silent Hill Road. Officials had to construct an alternate route in 1993, which you can see from this aerial view. It is really weird to see trees growing on the median strip right in the middle of a highway that was once bustling with traffic. Today, very few homes remain in Centralia. The abandoned houses and buildings have been destroyed by humans and nature. The government has carefully backfilled these places after demolishing houses and other buildings and now trees and bushes have grown all over this town except paved streets. You can still drive through these paved streets in the ghost town of Centralia. It feels like a large wooded area that is paved with random streets. UFO sightings have been on a steady increase ever since most people moved out of Centralia about 30 years ago. Quite a few people have experienced strange flying objects hovering about the abandoned highway. A handful of people who still live in Centralia do not report anything to the press because they are afraid this will add more pressure for them to leave the town. However, since 1983, there are plenty of UFOs reported in newspapers within a radius of 200 miles. For example, a glowing spherical object was seen by many people in the nearby cities on January 28, 1984. Another extremely weird incident happened on August 6, 2002. In broad daylight around noontime, many people saw a strange spacecraft hovering over Centralia. Onlookers gathered and the spacecraft quickly moved westward and disappeared. On the same day, 20 miles away, a man named Todd Sees went missing in Northumberland County. Is this just a coincidence? Two farmers who lived a few miles away claimed that they saw a craft hovering over the tree line and something was getting lifted from the ground into this craft. Now, this man's body was found 30 hours later but was mutilated in a very weird manner that is so baffling that this case is still kept open by the police. His autopsy report says that his ears, eyes, and inner throat had been removed with surgical precision. His sexual organ, anal area, and parts of his intestine had also been cored out as if by an advanced suction device. What's even worse, the autopsy report says that Todd C's was alive when all this mutilation was going on. Who could have done this to him? Today, we dissect smaller animals when they're alive and perform similar experiments in the name of scientific research. This is called vivisection. Who could have the capability to perform such experiments on live human beings? You can see a lot of these shotgun shells all over this town. Why? Time and time again, people hear such loud screams in Centralia that residents have tried to scare whatever it is by firing shots into the air. People who live nearby complain that they are seeing weird creatures at night and come in as a team and fire shots into the wooded area. 
In 2013, a 34 year old woman was driving through Centralia and her car broke down exactly in front of the St. Ignatius Cemetery. She tried to call AAA, but her phone wouldn't work. It was 3 a.m. and she spotted this police station, which is only a few blocks away. She walked up and realized that the door was locked. The lights were on inside, but the windows were misty. When she wiped the mist off and peeked through a window, there were creatures inside that did not look human at all. She panicked and was luckily picked up by a trucker who was passing by and took her to safety. Is this just a spook story fabricated by people to glamorize this ghost town? Or is it a place used by otherworldly beings? I think there is something definitely strange about Centralia. What do you think? Please do let me know your opinion in the comment section. I'm traveling to a lot of interesting places like this, so please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon. Thank you.